Welcome back to Living 808. Now we've made our way into Waikiki at the brand new Liliha Bakery location here at the International Marketplace. And I am joined by Barbara Campbell, who is the president of the SJ Foundation, as well as the co-founder of Spam Jam, which is one of my favorite events. And I'm so happy to Thank see you. you. It's great to see you. Because when I see you, that means Spam Jam is back. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but it's back in a different way. So can you tell us about the new format of Spam Jam? You bet. So um, we changed up Waikiki Spam Jam this year. Instead of having a big festival on the street where we close Kalakaua Avenue and have like 30,000 people uh, joining us, we've now created this event for this year that's going to be from April 22nd to May 1st, and it's really about featuring a wide variety of, of Spam dishes at, at nearly 30 restaurants. Nearly 30 restaurants. That is incredible, and that's a lot of food that you guys are going to have to be grinding. So one of the restaurants, of course, that's participating is Liliha Bakery. So we have some of their dishes featured in front of us right now. So what are we looking at? So Liliha Bakery here at the International Marketplace has created um, two different kinds of of fried rice for us. This is a garlic fried rice with spam and eggs, a, a little omelet here. And then we have their locally sourced kimchi fried rice with spam and eggs. And then we have a beautiful simen that has slices of spam in it. Uh, that looks really delicious. Finally, we have the classic spam and eggs with white rice. Mm -hmm. Looks delicious, looks beautiful, and I know you're such a <laughs> lover of spam, so. I am, by the way, I'm, I'm eyeing your spam earrings. Those yes. are so cute. So, so tell us about this event a little more, and yes, I am gonna dig into this because it smells amazing. But not only is it great because it's great food that's being brought to the community, but it also is such a great cause as well. Yes, well, you know, one of the, uh, the reasons that we have Waikiki Spam Jam is it is a fundraiser. It is a benefit for, first and foremost, the Hawaii food bank we have a lot of families a lot of people in Hawaii that are in need of food so a large portion of the proceeds are donated to the Hawaii food bank uh, but also a couple of Waikiki charities that we um, really like to support is the Waikiki Community Center and the Visitor Aloha Society. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So again, not only is it great food, but it's also for a really great cause and you're helping out in the community here. Yeah, feel free to dig in. I'm going to ask you another question though, because I'm going to be grinding this and I know people are going to be jealous. So what are the dates? When can people come out to Liha Bakery or any of the restaurants that are going to be featured during Waikiki Spam Jam? So Waikiki Spam Jam, all of our restaurants will be featuring their special dishes, their special spam creations beginning mm -hmm. on Friday, April 22nd, and those will continue through May 1st. Okay. Um, and you can go to our website at Spam Jam Hawaii to get a complete listing of the restaurants and what they'll be serving. And um, there's a lot of events coming up too. Yes, we actually have, we have three smaller scale events um, for, for the whole promotion, starting with this Saturday at Waikiki Beach Walk. Um, we will have live music, um, our restaurants are featuring spam dishes, and then we'll have our spam shop featuring all kinds of great spam yeah. logo items. And then on April 28th, there'll be an event here at International Marketplace, uh, right on the ground floor featuring um, a lots, lots of spam dishes and um, crafters and all kinds of things going on. And then finally, on May 1st, in conjunction with May Day, the Royal Hawaiian Center will have a special event during the day in the afternoon. So lots of things going on, and the food is really the focus, and we mm -hmm. hope you check out all of these amazing restaurants that are offering every kind of spam dish imaginable. I know. It's incredible. All right, Bob, Robert, you dig in, too, now, because, yes. again, this Waikiki Spam Jam is going to look very different, but it's also a great way because before, you know, at the booths, it was just a small service that you would typically get this you're getting full plates of all of the delicious spamness so in a way you know there are some really big benefits you guys look at this Simon right could you get have this huge bowl of Simon before OMG again Waikiki Spam Jam details it's starting this Friday yes April 22nd to May 1st so you can come down and enjoy a spam dish every day or twice a day perfect <laughs> all right we'll see you guys there back to you in the studio Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> sure thing. She's pounding that food. Mm. Right? <laughs>
I say this all the time to all of our viewers out there, and I don't even take my own advice. Do not watch this show on an empty stomach. Or host it. Or host it. This looks so good. And by the way, Barbara, love your spam earrings. Way to stay festive. <laughs> <laughs>